Right now, a renewed push by local school districts to help more students who are struggling to read. Well, yesterday we shared how the State Literacy Success Act, passed just a few years ago, has changed curriculum standards for students in Tennessee. It puts an increased focus on phonics. The result? A slow increase in student TCAP scores. It's working for many students, but what about the rest? Does your child still struggle? 10 News reporter Olivia Degg joins us now with more on what you can do and how districts are trying to help. Olivia? John Robbins statistics nationwide say most kids can be successful readers, but 5% still won't meet the mark. I asked the experts in Knox County Schools what's being done. We see high rates of anxiety and other uh, tendencies for mental health disorders in people with lifelong reading disabilities. Deborah Reed directs the Tennessee Reading and Research Center, and she also aids faculty in the College of Education at UT. She says for the small percentage of kids who struggle to read, it's tough. Nobody wants to spend all day long in school where you're expected to read and yet you struggle with reading. However, there are supports in place. To track student progress, Tennessee administers a universal reading screener three times a year for kindergarten through eighth grade. And school districts continue administering a universal reading screener as students progress uh, with new guidance around um, identifying students with characteristics of dyslexia. Reed says this is different than a TCAP. It's a completely different test that taps certain skills that are expected of uh, good readers and seeing how children are doing and developing. When students get flagged as needing help, teachers step in. Tutoring, there can be summer programs. Uh, some students may qualify for special education services. In Knox County schools, they focus on teaching on grade level. But if that's not working, they look at moving kids into small groups. We're looking at students at that 41st to 26th percentile on that universal screener to say, how might we then put them in a, a tutoring group? Olivia, what more can parents do to support their child who is still struggling with reading? Robin, I mean, educators across the state say the best way, spending time with your kid, reading with them, reading to them, just takes a few minutes. Not a money thing, it's a time thing. Right. Investment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Olivia, thank you. We appreciate that. You can see her other story online right now that aired yesterday on this very topic.